Hello everybody, welcome to the theme stream. My name's Brian, I'm the product manager of LaunchBox and welcome in. Uh, this is where we can all come and hang out and talk about Big Box and LaunchBox and all the theming that's involved and how you can get your own theme exactly the way that you want. Any questions are welcome. Thank you for joining. Hopefully everybody had a great week. Uh, hello everybody that's uh, joined in the chat here. David, El Safir, Edward, how are you guys doing? <laughs> David, you're in meeting at the same time. <laughs> that was pretty funny. The VHS receiver. Um, hopefully you guys had a great week. It is Friday, <laughs> Edward. It is Friday, almost the start of the weekend. Uh, I was unfortunately sick most of the week starting on the weekend so it's been a rough week for me but it hasn't been a rough week for launchbox we have 12.0 just got released and i was so excited to to get that out for all of you guys uh the whole team was and it's fi finally out in the wild and i didn't want to wait another week even though my voice isn't fully returned uh so i thought i'd pop the stream hang out with you guys for for an hour or so and I was really excited to get showing you specifically, if you look at the notes, there's, um, oh, thanks VHS Re Reviver. Yeah, I'm definitely feeling, feeling good enough to at least pop the stream, which, which I, I couldn't have said the same two days ago. But if you looked at the notes and, uh, the change log and, and it was, quite substantial this time we tried to tried to hit all the points all the the different areas of, of launch box big box and everything you'll see that there's a section on uh, marquees and how we improve them and I wanted to go over that for you guys and then provide you by the end of this video hopefully some tools that you can use to create your own uh, and at least understand exactly what we did why we did it and uh, how you can then improve upon it and use all of these sort of new tools to your disposal. So in saying that, and just in case anybody's aware, if anybody has any questions about any of their own themes that you're making, whether uh, code-wise or within the community theme creator. So the first thing I want to say is, if you don't know about it, go download the community theme creator. You can find it on the forums uh for people that are regulars on this stream you guys know know the know it already let me show you guys here you go to the download section it's going to be here in the highest rated because it is quite a substantial program if you're looking for a way to build a theme with a ui uh, a gui environment and not wanting to mess around with the code this is the tool for you um it will get you off the ground running and I know a lot of people I've seen a lot of themes come out recently uh, I think a lot of the themes in the works with everybody using this tool and it's it's really really such a great tool and Edward you you ran the update haven't had a chance to play around with it there's some some great stuff definitely mess around with it <laughs> and launchbox does have forums and there's a ton of content on them so if you haven't been on there definitely go there over See, within Big Box, there's maybe how many themes? 20, 20 or so themes, maybe a bit more uh, that you can download. But on the forums, there's over 150 themes that you can mess around with. So anyone can come on, publish their theme online, and I highly recommend that you do so we can all, you know, bask at your theme's glory. <laughs> but yeah, a ton, ton of other content as well. Uh, you can see the Genesis mini theme that I was messing around with and experimenting with, experimenting with last week is on there now. Uh, and you can play around with that. It took me a while to get that out just because I fell ill. But it's there now. But without any questions, uh, you know, interrupt me at any time and I'll try to answer your questions. But let's dive into the marquee changes. So you'll see in the change log uh, that we talked about a few different changes uh, launchbox has user specific changes like if you're not a theme developer uh, we now have video marquee support all you have to do 
for that to work is to go into your launchbox folder um, let's say within videos I should do this <laughs> with the actual uh, a GUI here if you go into videos and you go into any of your platforms you can see there's a new marquee folder drop your marquee videos in here and by default big box will play them and hey i am santi hopefully you're having a good friday and edward you, <laughs> you like the retro mag one yeah that was a really cool theme it took uh it's been something i've been wanting to do for a while so i'm glad it turned out the way that it did you always never know so the second thing that we added for users is, uh, I'm not sure if I have Launchbox open right now. Let's open it up. We added an image, marquee image priority group, so people can control what they're going to see on their marquee. Uh, and you can access that by going to options. And now you'll see that there's a new marquee priorities. And you can add whatever image type that you want here to show up. Uh, whenever there's going to be a marquee image group being presented on the screen, like that piece of code. All right. So let's take a look at what did we actually do code wise for theme developers. So I'm going to go through the code and then I'm going to maybe mark it up a little bit and then provide it to anybody on the forums for anybody to, uh, to look at so you can go into the default theme I'm just gonna make a copy because every time you open up big box the th default theme will uh, be overwritten actually let me just label this for myself default marquee so within the views actually let me just open up the actual theme file And within views, you'll see that we have, I believe it's called game marquee view. So this view has been adjusted so that there's a bunch of different things that will happen depending on uh, what type of images or videos that you have in your own library. But in saying that, it's made in a way that theme developers can come in and see everything. So nothing's hidden behind uh, no, uh, nothing's hidden behind anything, any kind of binding that you can't touch. Everything's sort of open, and I'll explain exactly what's going on here. Uh, and that's why there's kind of so much going on here versus uh, an older version of this game marquee view. But let me break it down easily for you guys. I think this should be, let me raise this a bit higher so you can maybe see it a bit better. There's essentially four different things going on here four different uh things that will happen and let, let me just break this down so that it sort of separate the different sections so that it makes sense here this is section number one oops not pull that down <laughs> that's section number one this is section number two from here to here this is section number three from here to here and this is section number four from here to here. And uh, if you're not familiar with XAML, the way that things get rendered onto the screen is that the further down in the list it is, uh, the more in front of uh, things are than the other thing. So basically, it's sort of backwards uh, to the way that uh, you might be thinking, or maybe not. It's basically, this one down here, since it's the furthest down in the list, will display first. Then this one, and so forth, and then this one. Okay, so what's exactly going to happen here? Essentially, let me comment this as I go for you guys. So this is the marquee video. It's basically saying, hey, play a marquee video on your screen. Whatever videos that you can find, I know that there's some on the forums, or you can create your own. You can take your game videos and put them into this folder and they'll play in your marquee, on your marquee screen. You know, it's kind of cool. 
And that's all this is saying, this code. Cover flow video. And then it says, which kind of video do you want to play? Marquee. And then pull something with the selected game name. And then here, there's a couple other properties. Play video, you know, yes, true. Do you want to play the audio? False. You can always set that to true if you want, I think. Uh, but just as a theme developer, if you're going to play a video with sound in your marquee and play some sound in the actual theme, they will clash. So fair warning. <laughs> All right. So that, that's the first one. The rest of this is a style that basically says if there is no video, you know, hide this whole thing. So if there is no video, do the next thing here. What's the next thing? The next thing here is the marquee image. So it's basically what we had before. It's if you have a marquee with the image type. So anything that you've decided to put into your marquee images, image priorities will display next. So for by default, it's arcade marquee, banner, steam banner. Um, you can add different ones if you want. But that's the default. So you're basically your arcade banners will be displayed there by default. Uh, and then, of course, down here, it's basically saying, hey, if there is no image and like display this, if there's no video. And check if there's an image, if there is an image in your marquees group and there is no video make this visible other than that it's going to remain hidden so that's basically what that's saying so this is your marquee image and then you know what happens if you don't have a video and you don't have a Im marquee image the next thing it's going to try to do is this whole everything inside of this giant grid And I am Santa, you have a PC that can't even run an uh, NES game. <laughs> I was running NES games in the 90s. So I'm pretty sure you could figure that out. <laughs> Edward. What are you saying? Question. As of right now, if a theme isn't updated with video code, we can still change the marquee image and its priority. But for videos, themes need to be updated to use this video code. That is correct. So right there, I mean, and, and the, the video code is now in every single default theme on 12.0. So you can go in and take this video code out if you want, just the way it is in this big thing, and then paste it into any of your marquee themes, any of your themes into the marquee view, and it will work. Yeah. So if you have a favorite theme, in fact, you don't even have to do that. If you have an old favorite theme, you can take this whole game marquee view dot XAML and put it into your, your theme files inside of view. And I'll show you where that is just in case anybody's watching and they don't know, you would go into launchbox themes folder. So here's your launchbox folder themes, find the, the default theme. So I'm going to go into the default theme into views. And I'm going to take the new game marquee view copy. And let's say my favorite theme is, uh, let's say coin ops redox. Oh, well, let's do, yeah, let's do that one. I just go into views. I just paste it over. And now it has the new video marquee ability. Now, if a theme doesn't have this file at all. So if there's no game marquee view file within a themes folder, so let's just find one like that. So this one, oh, it doesn't have a game marquee view file. It's actually going to then default to the default themes marquee file. So then you don't have to do anything and you can still take advantage of the default themes game view and the videos will work. Yeah. <laughs>
Oh, Edward, you needed this to come out earlier this week. Well, it'll be there past this weekend and into forever. So I'm, I'm sure you'll find time. But yeah, I, I understand. <laughs> I understand how that is. And I am Santi, you're Spanish, so you're using, I guess, a translator. Okay. Well, hopefully, hopefully the translator is good enough that we can at least understand each other. All right, so let's go. What happens if you don't have a video and you don't have a marquee image in your particular LaunchBox setup or in LaunchBox library? Then it's going to do this third thing. Now, this third thing is actually two things in one. That's why it's so large. This is actually both a clear logo, and let's say a centered clear logo, on top of a blurred, uh, a slightly blurred, <laughs> very specific, slightly bur blurred background image. And that background image will be determined by whatever that you list inside of your background image priorities. So as a user, if you go in here and you're like, well, I, I, I see a lot of black in my backgrounds in the marquees. Well, that's because in your background priorities here, you might not have an Epic Games background, a Uplay background, Origin Amazon, a fan art background. Uh, I believe that's the default, those five. What I do in my setup is I turn on the screenshots gameplay so that at least if I don't have a background for a game, but I have a screenshot, it will display something in the background that's, you know, blurred. Give it some sort of color. So that's what I do personally. You can add whatever other images that you want into your background. The point is that's uh, where it's going to grab your images from. Uh, it's going to, that's what's going to determine what's going to be grabbed. And if we want to break down what this code actually says, this is the background image. So this is the background image right here. So image, background image, and you can see right under it, it's saying the image is blurred at about 20% or 20%, 20 radius, which is not extremely high. It's, uh, it's good enough for it to be blurred enough so that the, the actual clear logo will stand out. And then the clear logo, since what I said earlier, where the things below other things will show up on top. So since backgrounds up here clear logos down here the clear logo is going to show up uh, much more on uh, or on top of the background and this is where it says uh, this is the clear logo so logo image image type which is here the clear logo is going to be displayed actually there's two things it's there's two clear logos being displayed and uh, there's a reason for that. And you don't necessarily have to worry about that if you're wanting this sort of chunk. And the reason why I'm separating it by sort of these chunks is because, and so I should probably do it this way. So that if you're wanting to pull one of these, you can simply just grab this whole chunk and then paste it into your own marquee to use it. Right. And this is actually just the logic basically saying, Hey, if there is no marquee and marquee video, and there is no marquee image and, but there is a logo that you have display this block, this group, this whole grid. And that'll be the background and the clear logo. Okay. So let's say, you don't have a marquee video and you don't have a marquee image and you don't have a, a logo, a clear logo for the game that you're on. Then it's going to do this fourth and final thing. The fourth and final thing is simply the box. So if you're familiar with the way that the marquees worked before 12.0 is that it was either going to show a marquee image and then it sort of fell back to the boxes. Well, 
this is us keeping that logic intact just in case you wanted it. So you would just say, hey, if you don't have any of these three, put a box and center that box on the screen, box of the game. So this is the box front game image. And that's it. That's the whole whole view explained. What I'll do is I'll post this uh, probably in a thread and then link it in the comments once I do that early next week. So let's say you wanted like an example here is let's say you wanted uh, you didn't like any of the new functionality and you actually just wanted to see uh, the marquee the marquee image or the box like it was beforehand well then you would simply erase this centered clear logo with a slightly blurred background and this marquee video and you would just delete that and now it's going to do what it did before 12.0 right you've got that ability or let's say you want you just didn't like this uh slightly blurred clear logo and you would just get rid of that right? and then it'll do everything else so yeah, that's this functionality. Let me save that so I don't forget. Now the question is, could you do any of that in the community theme creator? Like what is possible in the community theme creator uh, more than, uh, because in order for a lot of this functionality to happen, the community theme creator uh, the author would have to update the community theme creator. Uh, luckily, he did update some of the changes. And he's got basically everything that you can do minus the video, unfortunately. So you would have to add the video chunk manually if you wanted that. But other than that, let's take a look at what we can accomplish. And then I'll provide this. And what's great about this is that uh, then you can use pieces of this project, this sort of example, in your own projects as well. So I'm just going to call it Marquee Example. And we're going to find the game Marquee View. What did he call it here? Game Marquee View. There it is at the bottom. And we're going to go into this. So let's look at what we can do. So let's put an image in the background. Background image. And we'll make it the fan art. So this is the same logic as what's in the theme right now. We'll have a background. Uh, we will put an effect on it, same sort of effect. And you can see 20 would look like this, so it's sort of slightly blurred. Let's do even more. Let's do something like that, maybe 40. I'm also going to put a rectangle. We're going to call this like a black fade. Full screen that. And we'll make it black. We'll reduce the opacity a bit. This will allow us to control when there's a black, uh, a white background like there is right now. And Riaz Ali, welcome in. Hope you're doing good. You have a PC that can run PC, PS3 games under emulation really well and smoothly. You can play Red Dead 2 in high res and smoothly. That's pretty cool. <laughs> but you can't update to win 11. Yep. Let's thank Microsoft for that choice. I think, I think most of us are going to be stuck on Windows 10 for a while. <laughs> That's true. All right. So we've got a background here. Let's add another thing, right? The benefit of, of all this is that we can add 
information on our secondary marquee screens. Uh, basically as much as we want. How about, how about the box front image? But in this case, we'll put it here. Actually, something that I'm going to do before I, I go crazy. I'm going to create a canvas. I'm going to call this group one. Canvas is going to be full screen. There we go. Put this box somewhere over here. We'll actually give it a metadata of a box. There we go. Maybe place it on the right side and the top. All right, and why not create some text? and make it the game title. Give it a few other conditions here. Properties, let's say, what do I have here? uppercase and we'll just make it size to the size of the text how about that how about above that we could have what else would we want well like a text scroller With the text scroller, we can do something similar. We can have the same sort of font. Maybe the light version. And put the game notes on there. <laughs> 24,000 Sinclair Spectrum Media images. That's a crazy amount of images for one system. All right, game notes. There, there they are. But let's make sure that they are going in the correct direction. I don't think we need any of that. Oops. Text scroller. And let's give these the names. Game title. Game notes. Something like that, and then we'll make sure that it's scrolling all right. All right. Next. What else would we want on this thing? Probably the, uh, the year that it was released. So release date. Stick that in our canvas. Same bold font. Auto size it to the text and uh, put the year on there. All right, and we'll stick it in this corner. All right, so we got the year, we've got the, uh, the title, we've got this. Uh, game notes. Uh, there's a couple other things we could do, isn't there? So we can have things like, let's say, a dock. And in that dock, I will put a frame. And in that frame, 
I will also put some text. I'm just going to copy and paste this text. And we're going to change this to be the game platform. How about that? So we'll switch that to game platform. We'll switch this to the light version of it. The frame itself doesn't, uh, actually it will need a background on it. Let's make it like a gray. Let's take a look, 60, so each side, if we make it like, actually, that's too big, isn't it? Let's do 30, that's better. Let's do 35. Means, eighteen point five. And Riaz, you were never into the turtles. Here in the UK, they were called Teenage Mutant Hero Turtles. <laughs> I wonder. I wonder if that name had a <laughs> had a negative effect. All right, there we go. We'll also auto size the dock and the frame. And now we can control how we want to look this, make this look. So we got that. Let's do five on the. Mm. We got five, that's 40. So I'm thinking that the frame needs to be 20. There needs to be more. Oh, C beats. All right, so there we have. Wonder what would happen if I make this black. That's pretty cool. Although it means I would need to make the frame a little brighter. Oops. go now I can just simply make a copy of the frame and put some other piece of information in there 20 in this case I'm gonna put the genre Put all the genres in there why not and then what's cool it's all in a dock so I can just move it wherever I want to place it any other piece of information that's missing I can think of one maybe I will need some images for this let me go get some I'm going to do a star rating and show you that you can have the star rating on here if you want. So I'm going to grab my star ratings from my cover box theme. And let's dump them in this new marquee example within media. And there they are. I'll actually call it uh, star rating. All right, so that should allow me 
to create an image. Call it star rating. And we're going to grab the community or user star rating binding. And then we're going to say point that to the star rating folder. And there we go. Mike Smith, you agree, <laughs> Riaz, in Germany, Mortal Kombat was to believe totally banned. Was it really? I did not know that. Some of you guys did not, like in Germany, there was no Mortal Kombat at all. I wonder if that ever uh, lifted. And I don't know anymore. Thanks for your your based and red pilled software. You're welcome. <laughs> if that's a, <laughs> assuming it's a compliment. 60. Okay, so I, th I think the sizing is good. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to stick it into the dock. There, look at that. Make that nice and centered. And now I can sort of size it based on the height of whatever this is. So uh, let's bring it down to 55. Let's bring it down to 50. Yeah, that one looks better. All right, now I'm going to give it some space. Oops. 20. Maybe 30. I'll take that star rating. I'll fade it out to try to match the rest of this. It's better. And now I'm going to make sure that if there is no star rating, display the image that just is zero. <laughs> so at least there'll be some image there. Okay, so overall, so far, so good. Double check I didn't miss anything there. Yeah, I think we're okay. Look at that. We've managed to make a you know, bit more of a dynamic uh, marquee. But the problem is, you know, some people want this. Some people want to see their marquee uh, images. So could you do something that you were doing that we were doing inside of the, uh, the, the code where we had multiple sort of different fallbacks? Well, that's sort of why, and God, I'm going to have to reposition this. I put everything inside of a canvas because you can do that sort of fallback thing inside of the community theme creator in a slightly different way. And so I'm going to create a new group and, uh, so group two, and we're going to simply put an image in there. You know, let's say you wanted the marquee marquee image to be there. Full screen. And there should be an arcade marquee, which there isn't one for this game because it's a GameCube game. But you can essentially say, and you can do this a number of ways. Uh, I'm going to do this so that it's foolproof basically saying make this one visible this one's at the top and it'll, but collapse it if marquee image file doesn't exist basically is no so basically uh, doing the same thing that the code was doing like saying hey display this marquee image but don't display it if there isn't one. Then below here, I can say, make this whole canvas collapsed. However, make it visible if the marquee image file or visibility is collapsed. So as soon as that 
marquee image collapses, everything inside of this canvas is going to say, hey, you just collapsed. So uh, here, look at me now. Now if I save that, let's see if that's actually functional. All right, so we've got this sort of dynamic marquee going. Looking nice. Switch up the game. Looking nice. Now we're going to actually see in about six seconds whether this will scroll. There it goes. Cool. Now let's jump to a system where I have some marquees and see if that logic is sound or not. There you go. So it's basically saying, hey, I've got a marquee. Make that canvas all uh, go away. And you can sort of see that I forgot to just center this guy out. And Edward, is there a specific view for the creator for the marquees? There's actually two. There's the game marquee view. You can see it's at the very end here, or it's at the bottom right here. And there's also a platform marquee view. So that one's a little more standard. That one will, uh, I mean, you can use most of this tech. I mean, you can use the techniques in there as well with the platform bindings. But that one's basically going to say, hey, display a banner, a platform banner. But yeah, I mean, you can go crazy on that view as well. So those are the two. So you can see here. Uh, the logic is is working i can go to a different game and there's your marquee there's your marquee oh this one didn't have a marquee so it tried to pull up different images so you can see that it is working and of course i didn't have any <laughs> and uh and noise score wrap hopefully i said that right how are you doing today? Hopefully you're having a good Friday. Is there a way to make custom themes in Big Box? There is. Head on over to the community theme or the, the forums and download the community theme creator if you're looking for a graphical user interface to create Big Box custom themes. And that's what you're seeing me use right now. And if you need any help, there's... Uh, all the videos that I did over the last few months uh, that can definitely help get you started and a whole bunch of themes out there with project files that you can download. Uh, not just mine, but any video, I will release all of these project files for you to load into the community theme creator and uh, mess around and see how it works, including what I'm doing here. So you can see here, this is not a marquee, so it loaded the uh, the backup file. <laughs> Let's see if I can get a marquee one. Oh, this one has a marquee, so put the marquee in the middle, just like uh, the current default. And that's it. That's how you do both the coding sides from the default theme and what that all means, and how you can do this project or how you can do the marquees in the community theme creator. Uh, and so I will have both of these files uh, going, you can kind of hear my voice is, is sort of dying uh, because of uh, the sickness that I had all week. So I think what's going to happen is I'm going to package the marquee example up for you guys. I'm going to package the, uh, the commented version of the game marquee file for you guys to take a look at. And I'll post it somewhere on the forums and have a link down in the description, hopefully by Monday. Uh, for you guys to look at in this video. Uh, sorry for such a short one. I think it's only been about 40, 50 minutes, but I hope you have a good Friday, guys. Uh, and we'll be back next week. I'll create another theme for you. So noise noise co uh, score wrap, if you want to join in next Friday, I'll probably be building a full-fledged theme. And you can come in and you can ask me any questions about the community theme creator. Uh, and I will do my very best to answer it. Uh, and if you do end up creating a theme, which I really hope that you do, I can't wait to see what it looks like. 
Until hopefully you guys have a great weekend. And we'll see you guys next week, next Friday, hopefully around the same time. All right, take care, everybody.